Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and this is the chart that we're going to tackle, my least favorite chart type. So this is Project Pi, and although I normally tell people to just select their pie charts, come up to the Design tab, and change the chart type either to either a column or bar chart, because those are clear chart formats to show your data, let's assume here that we have to use a pie chart. And the first question we always want to ask ourselves whenever we're building a slide is, what's the point of that slide? Because the last thing you want to hear from your audience is crickets, right? And before I tell you what I believe the secret ingredient to getting to the point of just about any chart is, if you're ever having trouble staying focused on your point with a pie chart, I have two bulletproof rules that you can live by, and that is think in twos and go donut. And the rule of twos is super simple. You're only allowed to format two pieces of data, which means you're gonna have one piece of data colored and everything else is gonna be white, the rule of twos. So for example, let's say that I'm gonna use the rule of twos and I'm only gonna color the organic search portion of my pie chart. If I hit page down, it might look like this. And I've obviously thrown a title up here to kind of describe that. 45% of all of our website traffic is organic search. And although that's still not a point, it's a fact, notice how much more this leads you to talk about the blue portion. If I go back up, so page up, this was the original pie chart, you throw this up, even you as the presenter might get lost in what you are gonna talk about. If you throw this up, which is again, just that same pie with only one piece of information colored in, you better start talking about that 45%, the colored blue section in your presentation. And if we colored a different portion of the pie, it might be this. And again, I threw up a title, only 15% of our website traffic is coming from referrals. So again, kind of a fact, not a point, but it's starting to lead you in the right direction. And just a quick tip on your pie charts, if you click into a pie and hit control one on your keyboard, you do get the options to angle your slice. I know a lot of best practice for using pies is to put the colored portion um, in the lower right hand corner so that with the rule of twos would put the 15 percent in the lower right hand corner now if i hit page down i have that ugly chart that we started with and i just want to talk about another way to use this rule of twos if you look at your pie chart and you have a ton of different pieces in your pie and just coloring one of them doesn't make sense the next thing to do is to look at what you have and to see what you can combine together so for example if i look at my legend here I have organic search, so maybe I come over here and I fill that black really quick with some shortcuts. I look down the list, organic social media, I want that to be black too, it's the same thing. And maybe referrals, for all intents and purposes for my presentation, are the same thing as organic or not paid for media. So if I then use the rule of twos, those would be my colored section, and if I hit page down, after combining the data in Excel, this is what it would look like using the rule of twos. So now that we're getting closer to a point with the rule of twos, we still have a little bit of work to do here, I want to talk about going donut. And this is an aesthetic personal preference, but in my mind, if you're going to go pie, you might as well go donut. And what I mean by going donut is simply this. This is a pie chart. If I hit page down, this is that same pie chart now as a donut chart. And I've obviously changed the text. But if I just flip between the two, so this is the pie chart. Let's say that this was our point. We still have a little bit of work to do here. I think it looks a lot better as a donut chart. If you don't know how to do this, if you start with a pie chart, you simply select it. This is pretty straightforward and simple. Come to the chart tools design tab, find your change chart type. You can see there's the pie chart. The donut chart type is just way at the end. I'll select okay. All you need to do is insert a rectangle or some kind of object, type your text in here, 70%, whatever it is. If I just flip up to my other chart, you can see I've typed it in, and I learned this at the presentation summit last year, just making your percent a little bit smaller creates a nice visual aesthetic. Another nice thing about going donut, if I hit Shift F5, is this starts to look like an infographic with the number there in the center. And if you don't know what to do with your pie chart or you're still lost, if I hit page down, simply chart it out using the rule of twos and going donut and see what it starts to look like. Because even if you didn't know the point of your chart yet, if you were given a report on the state of organic search for your company, those are the three pie charts going donut at the top. If I hit page down, you could simply drop a box. All right, this is a layout strategy we use in some of our trainings. Uh, I've tied the colors to the box, so purple and purple. You could put a couple quick facts and then talk about them during your presentation. And because this is getting long, let me pause here and ask you, where would you go from here with this slide, right? Let's say you started with this slide and made it this far using the rule of twos and going donut. It's getting a lot better, but we still don't really have a point. So let me know what you think is missing in the comment section below. Let me know if you think this YouTube series is helpful. At this point, I'm only committing to six episodes of what's the point of that slide. In the next episode, I'll continue on with this example and tell you what I believe the secret ingredient of any pie chart is. But first, I want to hear from you. 
As always, you can check out the links in the description box for the slides and other killer PowerPoint resources. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.